now the dogs, as the visitors so-called tonight, will be all in red, red tops and red bottoms and trimmed in white. And Georgia Tech will be in white tops and white bottoms and edged in that dark navy blue and the gold. Two relatively big clubs, so the dogs are a little bigger because Claxton is at seven feet and it's got a little more meat on him. Crowd is still steadily coming in. We are not at a capacity. And I can't figure out exactly where we are right now. Lisbon, Claxton, jump, and Claxton knocks it back 20 feet to Pertha Robinson, and George is on the offense. Kick it over to Strong in the wing, to Claxton who pulled out high, to Ty Wilson on the left wing. Wilson to Strong, open, long one, no good on the rim. Tech rebounds out in front. Harpering with a long pass and a dunk by Forrest. Rebound came deep. The pass went deep, and Forrest went on a one-man wide-open slam dunk. Two to nothing. Tech leads. Dogs work. Bertha Robinson outside to Ty Wilson on the right wing. Tech trying to play very tough man-to-man, -to -man, though it's a combination man in the zone. Flaxen feeds a guard coming across the lane, and then Shannon Anderson goes down the baseline, and floor mistake, and they've lost the ball. Anderson kicked it out, Scott. We're in trouble right away here. As yeah, Shannon was trying to do something on the baseline, he just got too close to it, stepped on the line. It's Tech's basketball. Delisma gives it out to Travis Best. Tech leading early, two to nothing. Best to Barry on the right wing, and then Forrest to Harpering to Best. Tech is working around the perimeter, and the dog's trying to stay with him. They go into Forrest, who backs his way around, stops, pivots, gives it back out to the guards. He couldn't shoot because Carlos Strong was on him pretty tough. Tex guards working outside to Big Alisma on the left wing. He's near the corner. He wants to take Claxon in. Claxon blocked the shot and tied him up. It'll be Tex ball out of bounds. They want to move. They're down to four seconds on a shot clock is what they're hollering. Officials hollering at the table over there. Tech will get the ball out. Claxon wouldn't let him shoot. Harpering of Tech. Wants a man to cut. Feeds it in the corner. Dogs trying to stop the shot. Off-balance shot on the baseline. And a foul on the shot on the baseline. Oh, that's unfortunate for Georgia Tech. Had to inbound the ball with only four seconds on the shot clock. And Best was able to draw the foul on the far side against Pertha Robinson. Best was in the corner. Started down the baseline. And Pertha went up in the air with him. Best on the line. 5'11 senior. He'll make a lot of money next year in the NBA. Left-handed. He hits number one good. Tech leads early three to nothing. Crowd is still, I think, kind of swelling up toward the 10,000 mark or so. But I'm guessing from right here that we are not going to sell this thing out tonight. Three to nothing. Tech leading early. Tech in white and the dogs in red. Best goes to the free throw line for his second shot. Best sticks it up. Good. Four to nothing. Now they're pressing a little. Anderson, a long pass to Pertha Robinson, who had to go out of bounds with it and flip it back behind his back, and Tex got the ball. Dogs drew it away. Best in the lane to Barry, driving baseline. Good. Barry scored from the corner. Dogs broke a man wide open, but threw it too far. Tech has run out six to nothing. Anderson to Claxton on the post, and they two-team him and take it out of his hands, and Tech is going to run again. Best stops on the left side of the key and lets Forrest shoot outside. No good on the rim. Rebound big Claxton. For a moment, they pressure him. Gives it to Pertha Robinson. Six to nothing. Tech leading early. And the dogs come down the floor. Pertha Robinson outside, under pressure. Went to strong high. Then he went into Claxton. Hook, no good. Rebound Shannon Anderson. Dropped the rebound out of bounds. It rolled off a tech shoulder. It'll be George's ball underneath. That was a nice job by Shannon. He crashed from the left side. Came in here to grab the rebound. It went out on the tech player. Dogs will take it out underneath their offensive goal. Robinson will take it out underneath. Trailing six to nothing early. Deep outside to Shannon Anderson came the pass. Georgia will now set up and try to run their offense. Anderson on the right wing. And then he goes to Ty Wilson out at the head of the key. Wilson to Perth. Strong, open, baseline, good. And he ripped the two. Carlos Strong at a 16-footer, and it's 6-2, to two and Tech's down the floor. Best outside, then to Elisma, who's pulled out high, then to Drew Barry, and the best out at the head of the key. Harpering shoots off the left, over the rim, no good. Rebound high, strong of Georgia. To Pertha, who dropped the pass out of bounds, 
The pass was not true. It was a little high and up above and off the hand of Perfect. A little high and a little hard by Carlos. Georgia a little tight right now, but uh, that, I think hopefully that last basket by Carlos will loosen him up a bit. Zek gets the ball out of bounds. Dogs made another mistake. Barry the best to Harpering. In the post to Elisma. Hook over. No good. Rebound Pertha at midcourt to Anderson. Deep pass, and they fouled Anderson at midcourt. We threw it 45 feet, and Tech was blocking him and fouling him at midcourt. Well, that was a nice play by Pertha, I think. He got the rebound. He's averaging at about four and a half rebounds a ball game. Long pass down the floor to Anderson, and Forrest gets called for the foul. Six to two. Tech leads early. Ty Wilson out to Pertha Robinson, and the Dogs will try and set their stuff up. Bertha out at the head of the key. Wide pass. Strong saved it on the right wing. Backs into the lane and jumps. Good. Carlos at a 10-footer. And it's 6-4. to four. And Tech takes it out. And Elisma and Best and Harpering come down pretty quick. Elisma holding up out high. They're trying to keep Claxon away from the goal. Barry to Harpering. Harpering starts in. Claxon bothers a shot. But watch the foul from behind. Shannon Anderson hit him. Claxton switched in under there to bother the shot, but Anderson was hitting him on the forearm and fouling him going in. Coach Durham not necessarily too happy with it. Tech right now, Larry, trying to keep Alisma out of the paint inside so that they can draw Claxton out. And Tech hopes to get an advantage rebounding that way with Forrest in there inside. But uh, so far, it hasn't been too productive. Matt Harpering, a freshman. He's got to be good because he's playing and he's a freshman. He hit the first one good. This was the guy that Georgia really wanted, and at the last minute, he changed his mind and went to Tech. Second shot, rolling good. And Tech goes out 8-4. to four. Anderson to Pertha Robinson. Georgia coming down the floor. Pertha coming slow to midcourt. Tech waiting for them at midcourt. Shannon Anderson comes across. Shannon holds, and we got a little brush, a little ticky-tack foul on Best outside, who barely hit somebody's wrist outside deep at one of our guards best barely brushed him a little bit of a surprise call I'm going to call him that tight we're all going to be in trouble dogs will take it out near midcourt foul on best Wilson of Georgia to Robinson of Georgia as the guards work back to Ty Wilson on the left wing Wilson looks Wilson in the corner to big Claxton Claxton holds they want him to shoot so he does way over the rim air ball saved rebound on the other side Anderson of Georgia to Strong, who starts in, they knock it loose. Claxon tried to save it, and Tech knocked it out of bounds out of his hand. Man, that crowd was hollering, shoot at Charles, and he couldn't resist it. I hope he doesn't give into the pressure like that too much more. Dogs will take it out, eight to four. Tech leading early. Wilson going to take it out. Ty Wilson outside to Pertha Robinson. Pertha starts in, backs his way in the free throw line, feeds back over to Strong. Jumper no good, a 14-footer. Rebound knocked out by Barry of Tech to Best of Tech. Coming down the floor to Elisma on a break, and Strong fouled him in midair. They're going to say deliberate foul, I believe. Yeah, they called an intentional on Carlos, so Tech will get shots and the basketball. Carlos really racked Elisma. He hit hard into that post. It's padded, but Carlos... Is here to play some basketball, folks. That's a serious foul right there. At least my still down. He's his knees are bent. He's got his knees up in the air as he lies on his back. As Scott just mentioned, the post is padded with a thick canvas pad, and that's where he wound up in there. Now he's coming up. Now, this has always been a physical game, and uh, that was evidence of it right there, Carlos. I, I don't think that was dirty at all. It's just a a hard, clean foul, and Elisma was up in the air when he got whacked, and he just crashed right into the bowl. Eight to four, check leads, and we'll have to see if or when Elisma can come up and shoot his free throws. Now Elisma's up and walking and headed toward the bench. Carlos with a good gesture of sportsmanship. He goes over and shakes Elisma's hand, so that's a nice gesture. And Tech puts in that other... Attractive freshman, Michael Maddox, a 6'8 freshman. They got two plums out of our area when they got Harpering and Maddox, and a lot of schools wanted them. Officials hollering over at the table to make sure everybody realizes now the number of free throws we'll have with the intentional foul and then where the ball will go. Maddox gets a couple of shots. Georgia students holler at him, and he misses number one on the back rim. Eight to four, Tech leading. Going just about four minutes into this thing. Maddox gets another one, good, and it's nine to four, and now Tech will take it out underneath. 
Tech leads by five. They jumped out early, six to nothing. And the dogs made a move on him, and now Tech is moved back out again. Best takes it out to Big Forest on the right wing, outside to Barry. Barry, they screen for Best. Jumper, no good. Rebound underneath. Claxton stole it away from a couple of people, and there's a foul, I think, on Harpering, who hooked his arm. Tech was about to have position on the boards. Claxton took the rebound, and they fouled him. Time called 9-4. to four. Tech Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. This has been a great round ball series, Scott Howard. Always played one night only right in the middle of December, but normally a little larger crowd, I think, than what we're looking at tonight. Yeah, it's, the, the rafters up above are not full, of course. Most of the lower seats are taken, and I think the folks are still trying to get here, probably. So uh, hopefully we'll have, I don't know, the neighborhood of 10 to 12,000, maybe, you think? Uh, I, I would think so. Finally, also, I think we've had some 8 o'clock starts in this game in recent years, and it may have fooled some people. 9 to 4, and Tech leading. Tech, of course, with two other players virtually guaranteed to make a lot of money next summer in the NBA. Best and forced. Outstanding kids. And probably absolutely did the, the right thing when they stayed in school. Though a lot of people think Forrest would have made it anyway. Robinson and Ty Wilson down the floor. Dog's going to set up two and three as Shannon Anderson comes out. And now we'll run the offense. We go to Wilson. Baseline strong. Georgian red. Tech and white. Carlos Strong looking. Tech's gone into his own. In the corner. Perfect. Starts in. Back out to Strong. Across to Ty Wilson. Zone switched over to him. They knew he wanted to pop a three. Nine to four. Bertha Robinson backs up outside. They better watch a shot clock. So they feed Carlos in a double post. He jumps. He misses a seven-footer, and Tech rebounds. Big Forrest right in front. Gives it the best to guard. Georgia Tech down the floor. Long one. No good by Best. Rebound stolen by Forrest in midair, and he scores. Forrest came floating through the air, and it's 11 to 4. Tech. Bertha Robinson outside. Bertha Robinson waking. We go in, into Claxon to a man cutting layup. Good. Strong came in off the right side and hit a layup. We fed him off the post. It's 11 to 6. Harpering of Tech in the left corner outside to Forrest. Forrest shoots a long one. No good. Rebound Shannon Anderson in front. The dogs are running, but it's three on three. So Shannon wants to take it in. It lays good. It hung on the rim, but fell in. Shannon took it in. It was a three on three break, though they were scattered. It's 11 to 8. And Tech by three, and Best is sitting outside at the head of the key for Tech. To Harpering, to Forrest. Forrest, baseline turnaround. Good, an eight-footer. And it's 13 to eight. Robinson, the strong to Robinson. Dogs come down the floor. 13 to eight, Georgia by five. I mean, Georgia down five. We go into Claxon in the post, back to Shannon, who went baseline open, 10-foot jump, no good. Rebound Barry of Tech on the other side, and Tech comes down the floor. 13-8. They've led since we started to a man running, broken up by Strong, saved by Harpering of Tech. They bring it out to the guards. Tech works. Maddox, a long one. Good. He hit a three. Maddox cracked a long three, and Tech leads 16-8. Dogs come down the floor. Dogs in trouble early here. We've gone about six and a half minutes, and that's all. Robinson, Anderson, to Robinson. We move around. Tech in the zone. They want us to just pop it out there. Shannon starts in the lane. He won't let him in. Open baseline. Strong. In and out. No good. George has missed their last three, four shots in a row now. And Tech comes down the floor. Barry to best. Best the long one. Good. He ripped the three. All of a sudden, one of them is hitting everything, and the other one can't buy a basket. 19 to 8, and Tech runs out by 11. Time out. These words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Scott Howard, we went ice cold all of a sudden, didn't we? Yeah, we, we started missing some shots. So we've continually gone to Carlos. He has six of Georgia's eight points so far, but he's missed the last couple of trips down the floor. There in the Omni, early before Christmas, as always, just like Saturday's Kuppenheimer Classic. And you have four great clubs in the same building. At the moment, dogs are shooting 36%. Tech is shooting a flat 50. 
One of them is four out of 11. The other is six out of 12. 19 to eight. Tech is streaked out there by 11. George and I will come down the floor. Coach Durham standing up, hollering something at one of his wings. Wants to make sure they see something. Once a year, these two get together, and boy, in recent years, I guess we've had six, seven in a row that have just been absolutely wild. And a lot of them have started just like this one, almost leaning one-sided. Strong to Pertha Robinson. Dogs have come across and have set up. Shandon no Wilson, baseline driving strong, wide open, no good, a little five-footer. We've gone ice, ice cold. Best down the floor. Dogs can't buy a bucket to bury outside. They throw a hard pass underneath. Best saved it. They went to the post and Best caught it or it would have been gone. Now they go to Maddox, who's caught near the corner. Back out to Elisma, who's back in the game. He jumps one. No good. Rebound. Forrest, he hooked it off the glass. Good. And Tech runs out there 21-8. to eight. Georgia now shooting around 20-some-odd percent. And Tech really shooting. Anderson drove. Bad pass. From the corner on the other side, and Barry of Tech easily intercepted. Barry's going to run a running hook. Good. And Tech all of a sudden hitting something like seven out of their last eight while the dogs are going 0 for 8. And the ship is in trouble. It's 23 to 8. And the Georgia Tech people are up in there roaring. Bertha to Ty Wilson. Anderson in the Carlos Strong. Strong open. He missed a little one foot hook under there. He got fouled. We got Bell in the game. He's been in a minute or so. They give Claxon a breather. And now we're going to run Carrington in. It's a second foul on Forest of Tech, but Tech is building up a humongous lead. Well, just a little more than eight minutes into the game, Georgia finally gets to the free throw line. Tech's already five out of six for the stripe. This will be Georgia's first shots. 11 52 and a half. Carlos Strong on the line in the Kuppenheimer Classic doubleheader at the Dome Saturday. George will play Pittsburgh at 5, and Tech at 7.30 will play Louisville. Tech with a big, fat 15-point lead. Free throw in and out. No good. We, they, they put a lid on that thing now, and the dogs can't buy a point. Strong at a free throw. Just rim around and spin out. Now we're getting Steve Jones ready to come in off the bench. Coach is trying to make some kind of a change. Strong hit a free throw. Second one is good. 23 to 9. You don't want to get way behind to a very, very good club, especially with a club that's got two guys dead cinched to be in the NBA. Tech will take it out. 23 to 9, 1152. Tech will come down. Barry and Best. Barry down the floor. Dogs may have gone to a lineup that wants to run. Best of Tech runs around the screen, drives down the lane, feeds over there to Harpering, back in the corner to Best, and Best comes out around a free throw line, backing up and dribbling. He's their floor general. He looked at the post and didn't do it. Then he goes to Harpering outside, then to Barry outside. Tech working to Elisma on a high post. Harpering to Barry. Tech moving it well and running the offense well, and Barry goes baseline, then behind the back, off balance shot, good. Elisma falling back, funny looking eight foot shot, good. Tech cannot miss anything. 25 to 9, and the percentages, which is 50% a couple minutes ago, might be up around 70 now. Tech is really shooting. Bertha Robinson outside for Georgia. Robinson to Jones. Jones to Ty Wilson. Wilson holding outside. Then to, to Bell, who's pulled out with him. Then the Carrington, who drove a little jumper. He missed it. Tipped by Jones and goaltending. Give him the basket. Tech had a man come up in there, slap it off the glass. 25 to 11. And Tech will come down the floor. Dogs have fallen down 14. Now we're getting K2 Davis ready. Coaches are pulling fresh bodies in and out, trying to find some sort of combination. They need somebody who can shoot the ball right now. At least my Tech holding it outside to Barry. Tech leads 25 to 11. One of these clubs will still be among the nations unbeaten at the end of the night. Tech works to Maddox out high and deep. Jones trying to bother him. Then the best. They run a little screen, and Best goes driving, and the shot fell in good. He went down. He got fouled as he went up. The shot went straight up in the air. He knocked Ty Wilson down, or Wilson blocked him. Foul on Bell, apparently. 27 to 11. 
And let's pause 10 seconds station identification of the Georgia Bulldog Network here at Division of Paxson Sports. News Talk 750, WSB Atlanta. Trailing by 16 and shooting worse than miserable. Best of Tech will be on the line. 5'11 senior and a great leader. Free throw, good. 28 to 11. Jones of Georgia had to move away to pick up a ball and roll loose, and then it goes to Pertha. And the dogs come down at the post and spell. The wings, K2 Carrington. Bad pass, stolen outside by Best. Dogs made a mistake. Slam dunk by Elise. All of a sudden, they got careless. Tech now is cutting them to pieces. And it's 30 to 11. Bertha Robinson to, to Big Terrell Bell and then outside to K2 Davis. Drove down the lane, bad pass, threw it behind his back, out of bounds. He tried to go to Bell on the baseline. All of a sudden, dogs are forcing errors by themselves. And of course, they're probably a little tight around the basket because nothing will go down for them. 30 to 11 in Tech leads. Tech working around the perimeter. At the moment, Bucky Hodge, a 6'9 freshman, is in along with the Elisma, so they have two big men. They go to Best outside. Best looks at the post, doesn't feed it, does a head feint, got in the lane, shot it off balance, no good, but Elisma puts it back in. And Tech runs out 32 to 11. Tech is hammering us in the head with sledgehammers or tractors. 32 to 11. Dogs working. Pertha starts in. They steal it from him as he came in the lane, and Tech took it away. Long pass to Maddox. Maddox banks it off. Good. They don't miss anything. Tech in great, great shooting. It's now 34 to 11, and the Tech fans come up with a roar. I don't know if they're shooting 78% or what, but we're shooting about 10% at the very highest. Bell to Davis to Jones. Can't buy one. K2 Davis. You get one or two nights a year like this, where it doesn't matter where you are, the ball won't go down, and it happens to everybody. They bother Pertha. He fell down, but the ball was saved by Bell on the wing. Back out to the guards. We're working. They better watch the shot clock. Pertha shot a long one. Missed everything. Jones missed a tip, and I guess he got fouled. Pertha missed a long three, and Steve Jones got hacked from behind and fouled. Tell you, Scott, the percentages have got to be bad. No, I'm sure they're pretty brutal. I don't know what they are at this point. We'll find out at the next time out. Pertha that time took a... He must have taken about a 26, 27 foot three and he hit nothing but air, but fortunately Jones was on the other side of the basket to try to get the rebound and go back up with it. He'll go to the free throw line, but Bulldogs can't let this one escape. It's going to be tough enough right now coming back from 25 down here in the first yeah. half to a team as good as Tech. Yeah, you can rally 15, 16 down, make a run at him, but we're getting too far back down now. Jones on the line for the Dogs. He has come off the bench. Free throw, no good. Back rim. The thing this, now, what, we can't buy anything. What Georgia wants to do now with 8.22 to go in the half, down this many, you know, obviously you can't get it all back at once. They just need to pick away and try to set a goal, maybe 10 or 12 down at the half, maybe even get it down into single digits going into the break. Second free throw is good. Might be hard to get it down to 12, though, huh? Strong in, and Jones will sit down. 34 to 12. Deck is just cutting us and slicing us up. Harpering to Drew Barry. Georgia Tech coming down the floor. Both teams 5-0 and oh coming into this one. Drew Barry outside. And stolen by Pertha Robinson, who stripped him. Fast break, and Shannon Anderson slammed in. Good. Pertha and Shannon worked a two-man break as Pertha stripped Barry. 34-14. Dogs are still 20 down. Barry down the floor. Under pressure outside to Elisma. Then across. Harpering fed back into Hodge. Hodge banked it in good. Strong mad at the official because he got shoved off so hard and they didn't call it. 36-14. Dogs setting up and working their offense. Davis kicked it back out to Pertha Robinson. Pertha looking to K2 Davis on the right wing. K2 looks in the corner to Carlos Strong. Back out to K2. He shoots a long three. Good. K2 Davis, one of the junior college transfers, hit a three. And it's... 36-17. Hodge gave it to Barry. Check down the floor. They're in white. The dogs are in red. Check working. Maddox backing into the free throw line. Maddox goes in the post to Hodge and double dribble. 
Claxton was behind him, and he was worried about him a little, and he made a floor mistake. Time called 36 to 17. Time out. These words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Scott, I started to ask you who's got most of our points. Maybe we better look at Tech, huh? Well, Carlos Strong leads Georgia right now. He's got seven. For uh, Georgia Tech, James Forrest has eight, as does Travis Best. Those are the two guys that uh, certainly everybody yeah. knows about. You worry about Forrest and Best, but in the back of your mind also, too, is Drew Berry, who's a fine three-shooter, shooting a high percentage with his threes. And his, in his last couple of years, he's had some big nights in the Omni against us, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Uh, all three of those guys have, as a matter of fact, uh, Barry shooting 67% from three-point range. And the thing about Barry and Best, Larry, is they don't make mistakes. Uh, coming into this ball game, the two combined had 77 assists and only 21 turnovers. So they normally do not give up the basketball. You have to force them into mistakes. <laughs> George will get the ball out of bounds. Starting to get a little late in the half because we are under 10 minutes. In fact, we are under 9. In fact, we are under 8. We are 7-12. Bertha Robinson coming down the floor like a one-guard offense. Robinson looking to Strong outside. Going to feed Claxton in the post. He slipped and fell down and traveled. A wet spot on the floor. We decided to go in and use that size. We went in to Claxton. He slipped and fell down and landed on his back, and it's Tex Ball. Another piece of bad luck. 36-17, Tech way out in front. Barry to Hodge to Maddox to go in the post. Bad pass out of bounds. Give it out to Georgia. Tech made a floor mistake. The Alisma, Alisma will take it out. Alisma couldn't handle the pass. They were throwing it on the block. He wasn't quite there, and he tipped it out of bounds. Strong gave it to Pertha Robinson, who wants him to do a certain thing. Pertha outside and stripped. Alisma came out and stole it away from Carlos Strong and slammed it in. Strong was caught flat-footed outside by Eddie Alisma. Not one of the big stars. 38 to 17. Dogs work down the floor to Davis. Baseline driving shot off. He was blocked on the baseline going in. Best, who was out for a minute, wants to come back in. And they'll let him in. We're down to 624 and a half, but it's 38 to 17. And that's where we were a few minutes ago when Scott and I were talking on this 21 point thing. We are still 21 down. Foul was on Harpering. Dogs kicked it outside. Down at their end. Go to Strong, who wheeled around, and it rolled in and out, but Big Claxton put it back in good. No, basket is Strong. They give a tip to Strong. They were both up on the left side. Strong got the tip. 38-19. Tech had a man. Harpering cut, and Claxton blocked the shot. The rebound is tipped back in, and Claxton's got it. Claxton to Strong. K2 Davis had hustled in the corner with Shannon to save it after Claxton's block. Dogs work. Go to Claxton. Layup. Good. Elisma backed off. Didn't want to foul him. 38 to 21. Dogs have cut just a little tiny bite off that lead. Best of Tech working outside to Elisma. Stolen by K2 Davis on a bad pass. And K2's going to go to Anderson. Layup. Good. And it's 38 to 23. Elisma to Barry. And Tech comes down the floor. And the 21 points has shriveled up a little. Bertha Robinson asked the Georgia fans to make some noise, and they came up to do it. Barry of Tech drove in the lane, back out to Maddox. Maddox to Barry outside. Barry got a screen, didn't use it. Now he uses it, a long one. No good. Rebound out deep to our guards. Georgia's got it. Bertha Robinson over to Shandon. Jumper in the lane. Off. No good. On the floor. Rebound Barry of Tech. Had a shot, just roll out. Barry driving, falls off, no good, and they might call a foul on Pertha. Pertha on the left side. Official said his, his fist hit him on top of the head. Pertha says he caught only the ball. Tech's going to put Forrest back in. That's two fouls on Pertha Robinson. Miller Pope reminds me, and he is our key to bringing the ball down the floor. 38-23. Tech's got Barry on the line. Hugh Barry, number one. Good. 39-23. He's nearly automatic from the free throw line. He's 18 out of 21 this year, 85% coming into the ballgame. Barry gets a second one. Good. 
40 to 23. Dogs take it out. George all in red, deck and white. With a little bit of gold and dark navy blue trim. Dogs with some white and black trim. Robinson outside to Shannon Anderson, who backed around in the lane, almost got stripped, picked the ball up and fed somebody, and Strong laid it in off the right. Shannon Anderson almost traveled, got it loose, fed off, and we scored. 40 to 25. Best of Tech outside. Maddox go in the post to Forrest. Forrest in the lane, leaning around. No good. Rebound knocked out. Maddox of Tech has got it. Blocked by Claxton. Rebound. Harpering off. No good. Up in the air. Rebound, and they call a foul on the dogs. As two men go for the rebound, they call a foul on Strong. Dogs are really upset with that because the ball was up in the air, and two men were colliding for it. That hurt 40 to 25, and Tech will go back to the free throw line. How many have they shot, anyway? They're uh, eight out of nine. I tell you, that was some serious defense by Georgia that time. Claxton, who is fourth in the nation in block shots. Best, a long one in the corner after Harpering passed out. No good. Rebound, Claxton, they're all over him. He bounces through the strong back to Pertha Robinson, and the dogs come down the floor. Well, he cut it to 15. Robinson working outside. Pertha Robinson sitting there. Way lobbing across to Shandon, who looks at it, then goes to the baseline, but kicks it back out to the guards. K2 Davis went in and got a jumper off short. Rebound straight up in the air twice. Shannon Anderson picked it up and missed one. And then Claxton, or Strong, tipped it in. Carlos Strong tipped it in with his left hand. He and Claxton were jumping again. 40 to 27. The dogs have made a little bit of a run here. And Tech comes down the floor. Best had a screen. Didn't lose. Didn't use it, ball knocked loose, but he picked it up. Got it over to Maddox, long one, in and out, no good. Rebound off Claxton's hands, but George has got it. Pertha Robinson picked it up. Robinson gonna feed to Shandon, open jumper, good. Shandon ripped the 16-footer, and it's 40 to 29, and the dogs have made a run at him. Time call, time out. These words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Larry Munson, Scott Howard, and Miller Pope in the Omni. 21 has become 11. That's a little more manageable, Scott, provided we stay here at this level. Well, that's what we were talking about about, uh, what was I guess about five or six minutes ago, around the eight and a half minute mark, uh, when, when uh, Georgia was down by 21. Just talk about getting it back down to 15, then 12, then maybe to 10, and then get it into single digits. And right now, they've got a chance at uh, even cutting it down further than where they are right now. They're down by 11, but still good bit of time left, 3.03 to go with the way these two teams are playing offensively. I mean, they can run off a quick spurt in just a matter of seconds. We have had only four free throws, is that right? We yeah, we're two out of the four. We're two out of four, and Georgia Tech, uh, as I have it, is eight out of nine. Tech will come down the floor with Barry and Best. At least my at the post. Maddox, one of those fine freshmen on one side. Forrest, the All-American on the other. Tech down the floor. Best calls out a number. Their lead has shrunk to 11. Best of Tech. Outside to Barry. Barry feeds forward. Turn. Pivots. High. Arching shot. Good. He got it up high because he knew Claxton was lurking around there, so he arched it. 42 to 29. Forrest made a fine move. Dogs come down the floor. Bertha Robinson dribbling out front. To Shannon Anderson, the K2 Davis, baseline strong. They go into Claxton. He missed a little four-footer, tipped on the other side. Good. Anderson, I believe. Shannon Anderson tipped it good, 42-31. Tech back to 11, getting a little late in the half. Best of Tech working outside one way and the other, feigning to go in, then kicks it on the left to Elisma. Elisma comes out, gives it to Forrest. Forrest then went... Maddox, the best in the lane, over to Forrest, open. Claxton blocked the shot. Strong picked up the rebound. Big seven-foot Claxton blocked it again. And the dogs down the floor, 157 and a half. And now less than that. Robinson working outside, 42 to 31. We were 21 down. Anderson drives, arching shot, no good. Rebound knocked on the side. At least Matek has got it. Tech over to best. They might run three on two. Best open. Missed a little jumper in and out, no good. Dogs got a three on two, and now we're running. Shannon Anderson going in, banked it too hard, but we called us for traveling. He thought he was going to get the shot block. Dogs made a mistake on their break. Still 42-31. Tech getting Bucky Hodge, a freshman, ready to come in. 
Dogs getting Ty Wilson ready to come back in. 42-31, 11-point game is a little bit more palatable than 21, especially when you stay 21 down for about 9, 10 minutes. Peck down the floor, chance to go back out there to 13 or 14. Best outside to Barry. Bad pass. Tech threw it away. Wilson to George has got it. Ty Wilson down the middle. Got in the lane. Fed his man. Jones layup good and they fouled him. Steve Jones who also just came off the bench. The 6'6 junior stuck it in. 42 to 33 and the dogs have cut it to nine. Jones will get a free throw. In the Omni before Christmas, one shot every year, always right in the middle of the month, the only time they see each other, and it's just brutally great to watch. Jones of Georgia will be shooting, 42-33. Steve sticks it up, good. 42-34, we haven't been this close all night, not since the opening two minutes. 42-34, check works, they run a play. They feed Maddox outside to Barry. Had a screen, he didn't get with it quite in time. Barry on the side, Jones stole the ball but came out of bounds with an off balance. Steve Jones cut in, tipped it, came out of bounds with it right here in the Miller Pope's lap. And it should be Tech's ball. Now what do we got? 61 seconds. Officials telling Durham what the call is. Let's see what is the call. Jones tried to save it as he tipped the ball. He came out of bounds with it, tried to throw it down floor. It'll be Tech's ball, which is what we thought right here in front of us. 61 seconds in the half, and we have got this thing down to eight. Barry will take it out for Tech. Drew Barry as Tech runs an out-of-bounds play off the side, outside. The best. Best backing a little. Best still working. K2 Davis trying to bother him. They rub him off of the screen. Best outside. Best on the left end to Maddox. Maddox on that wing. Maddox one way and the other went in and jumped. Shot it high. Good, he hit it. He knew Claxton was around. He shot it high. 44-34. Tech by 10. 36 seconds. Less than that now. Georgia down the floor. 44-34. Tech. We were down 21. Ty Wilson on the side. They wouldn't let him open. They know he might crack a three on him. K2 Davis outside deep. He hit a three earlier. Anderson to Georgia. Go to Jones, to Ty Wilson, long one, no good. Claxton tips straight up, no good. Jones knocked the rebound back out to the guards. Davis, a running shot, no good. A rebound, Anderson, in and out, no good. A rebound, Tech picked it up. We missed shot after shot after shot under there. And Best shoots a long one, short, and that's the half. 44 to 34, and man, we threw up a flurry of shots. I hate to see what our shooting percentage is going to be. The end of the half, Tech out there by 10, 44 to 34. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Georgia raised their shooting percentages up to 44% by halftime. That's not good, but it's sure better than what it was. Tech cooled down to 51 and a half. Percent. So what is good, Larry, is that uh, in the final eight minutes after Tech got up by 22, Georgia covered the final eight minutes going on a 20 to 8 run to get back in this ball game, and they trail by 10. Tech and Georgia really down. Got down early, six to nothing. Got four points in a row, and then Tech just streaked it out there. And the first thing you know, it was 13 to four, and you were in trouble. And from there, they took it on out around 2021, and it sat there for a while. As Scott just mentioned, they touched 22 points with their lead for a few moments. Dogs will take it out as we start the second half. Our possession, Ty Wilson to Pertha Robinson. Tech extends the defense out to Pertha to try to trap him. In the corner to Big Claxton. Claxton holds, looks. Claxton puts it on the floor trying to dribble. They knock it out of his hands. Now they're going to scramble for it, and Best has got it. Claxton tried to dribble from the corner, and Tech took it away from him. Harpering, the best. Dogs have made a mistake. We're down 10 early in the second half. Best to Harpering. Long one. No good. Rebound. Tipped twice up in the air. George has got it. Ty Wilson, a long pass to Strong going in. Layup good. Strong scored. 44-36. And we're down eight. And Tex all in white coming down the floor. Dogs in red. Best outside for Tech. Best to Harpering. Deep out there to Barry. Barry on the left wing, bounces the best open, who got in the lane and laid it off the left side of the glass with a layup. Best put his body down the middle of the lane, but had his arm over to the left side. 46-36. 
Ten-point game. Dogs work. Baseline Anderson going to Claxon. He hooked in and out. No good. And there's a shove under there. Foul on, is it on Claxon? Sitting on the floor. He turns around in total bewilderment. Claxon missed a little hook that hit the back of the rim and then the front of the rim and came off. 46-36. Tech coming down the floor. They still got 10. They had 10 at the half and they still got 10. Best outside for Tech. Elisma spends usually a lot of time out there with him trying to get Claxton away. Best wants to take his man in and does, and Claxton blocks the shot. Ty Wilson with the rebound running to Shannon Anderson. He starts in the baseline, and he got blocked and got fouled, and now Georgia wants him to call a deliberate foul because it had happened earlier the other way. Shannon started in on the baseline and was skidding as he got blocked and fouled. Foul on Forrest. Miller tells me it might be three on Forrest. Dogs take it out underneath. High pass to Anderson. Bertha threw it deep outside, 40-some feet. Anderson feeds Claxton. Turn around, puts it up, in and out. No good. Pass to the side. Tech barely saved the pass. Now they come running down the floor. Back out the best. The long one, no good on the back rim. Straight up in the air. Forrest with a rebound. Put it up over the rim. No good. Rebound picked up underneath by Elisma, and somebody hit him. Both teams with flurries of shots here early in the second half in close, and they won't drop. Claxon's really missed some. Foul was on Ty Wilson, one of our guards who got involved in that scramble under there. 46-36, Tech by 10. And Elisma will be on the line. Foul is on Anderson and not on Ty Wilson. Elisma on the line. Haven't quite gone two minutes in the second half. Free throw no good on the front rim. Tech with a 10-point lead, and that's what they had at the half, 10 points. Elisman to get another one. We play Pittsburgh Saturday. Tech plays Louisville Saturday. Elisman second shot, rolled in and out, no good. Rebound tip on the side. Ty Wilson's got it, and Georgia comes down the floor. Perth is near the corner. He'll bring it out and set up the offense. Carlos Strong back in the lane. Put up a short shot. He walked for the ball. Floor mistake on Strong. Boy, Durham really chewing on him. Dogs came down the floor, going to set it up, and Carlos decided to do it all by himself. And backing in the lane, he walked. Another mistake. It's still a 10-point game. Are we ever going to get it down into single digits? Tech works. Forced. Harpering outside. They run a play, and Best goes in the lane and feeds Elisma a layup. Good. Elisma had a little layup as Best drove in. We converged on him, and he fed the postman. Tech by 12, 48-36, and the dogs come down the floor. Ty Wilson sitting outside looking at their zone, and the Shannon Anderson, Pertha Robinson, and Shannon are working outside. Shannon looks, Ty Wilson on the left with a long three, no good. Rebound out of bounds, Harpering knocked it out. He had inside position on Strong. I tell you, that last trip down was unfortunate for Georgia because Tech had just missed two free throws, got the rebound on the second. Strong had a chance, but he wasn't under control when he took it into the paint, so Georgia needs to keep control when it's got the ball. Georgia gets it out, Anderson gets a good little five-footer up in there and scored. 48-38, we cut it back down to 10. Georgia Tech comes down the floor. They both came into this one 5-0. and oh. Tech works very deep, faked a long one, drove instead, fed to Harpering, who put a jumper up in and out. No good. Claxton high, the rebound. Over to Perth Robinson. Georgia comes back down the floor. Shannon Anderson, baseline driving, good. Anderson scored from the left corner, 48-40. to 40. Dogs have cut it to eight. It was, remember, for a moment, 22 points. Best a long jumper off the front rim, no good. Forrest rebounds for Tech to Barry, the best. Coach Crimmins of Tech hollering at him, telling him to run their stuff. 48 to 40. Best starts one way and then the other, dribbling. Best to Barry. Then they go to Forrest. On the left side at the wing to Harpering, who comes out front. He feeds Elisma at the post on the left and then back out to Barry. And Barry went to the baseline. Barry starts in and got in the paint and fed it back to Best going in, who dropped the ball. We throw a long pass to Ty Wilson, who's going in, layup, good. And it's 48 to 42, and the dogs have cut it to six. And Georgia Tech comes down the floor. Best coming down the floor, and this place is now making some noise. Ty Wilson, one of our guards, asked the crowd to make more noise. Elisma outside to Harpering, who faked his man out and got in, and Claxton blocked the shot partially. Rebound out of bounds. Give it out to the dogs, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. 
Ty Wilson again asked the crowd to come up. Dogs will take it out. It's 48 to 42. And Tech now is an official. Yeah, I, I think even when Tech was up by 22 in that first half, Larry, we knew that it wasn't going to be a runaway like that. This game rarely is that. It, it may be a double-digit margin of victory, but uh, at that point, I think you knew that Georgia at some point was going to climb back into this. And they have clawed their way back to within six. They trail 48-42, and I tell you, Charles Claxton has been a force inside. Oh, yeah. He's not scoring much. He's only got two points, but he's blocked five shots tonight, and he is definitely influencing Tech play in the paint. A lot of these games, this single game we play every year, somebody has gotten a big lead early, and then the lead just vanishes. Well, Ken Small and I were talking at halftime, and uh, if, if we're not mistaken, we believe that Georgia had the lead last year. They ran out by double-digit figures, and then Tech climbed back in and eventually won the game by three. 48-42, and Georgia will be coming down the floor. We are early in the second half. Carlos Strong will take it out. There is no pressure. Bounces it to Pertha Robinson, and the dogs come down the floor. Trailing now only by six. We were, it seemed, a half million behind for an eternity. Bertha Robinson on the right wing, comes back outside, gives it to Ty Wilson. Shannon Anderson goes into Claxton, and the post, he's in the lane, he hooks good. Big Claxton hit a hook, 48 to 44, and George has cut it to four. And Tech comes down the floor. Best working, best outside, deep. Best to Elisma out there, high and deep, and then to Barry. Barry in the right wing went into the double post to Forrest. He jumped and leaned. No good. And who's the foul on it? Strong hit him. Strong had both his hands up trying to bother him. Yes, it's a foul on Carlos Strong, and that's three. Claxon went up in the air to try to block it a moment later, but Strong now is in foul trouble. Maddox will come back in for Tech. 48-44. Tech will have a man on the line. Four-point game. It was 10 at the half. It was 20-21 for an eternity in the first half. We've only gone five minutes in the second half. Free throw number one is good for Forrest, 49-44. Steve Jones in for the dogs. Carlos Strong will sit down. James Forrest, the senior. There are many who thought he could have made money in the NBA this year if he'd come out early. Second shot, good. A flat shot, 50 to 44, Tech's pressing. Shannon Anderson, the midcourt to Claxton, to Pertha Robinson, who's going to give it to Jones, who dropped the ball going in for a layup, and Tech's got it. We ran a play from out of bounds against a press and got a man open, and he dropped it going in. Tech down, long jumper, no good for us. Rebound, high, Steve Jones to Pertha Robinson. We're six down, we come down the floor. Shandon, baseline, good. Shandon cracked a seven-foot bank to the left. And it's 50 to 46, a four-point lead. And Georgia Tech is coming down the floor, and the Georgia fans come up with a roar. Best outside, looks at the post. He goes in the post to Forrest. Hook, good. He hooked an eight-footer to the right over Claxton. He was so far on the baseline to the right side, Claxton did not jump for that. 52-46, dogs work. Jones feeds Claxton. Claxton turns, hooks, short, rebound. Claxton's got it. As he goes up, he got hit. He was trying to stick it back in there, and he had two men on him, Maddox and Forrest. It's six-point game. Foul on Maddox. That's only his first. Shannon Anderson on a roll now, Larry. He's got 16 points. Carlos Strong with 15 for the Bulldogs. They lead the scoring for Georgia. James Forrest has 14 to lead Georgia Tech. 52 to 46. Played about six minutes in the second half. Claxton will get two shots. His first time to get a free throw tonight. Puts it up. Good. Threw it kind of flat, but he hit the front rim and then the backboard and came back in. Sometimes he shoots an adventure. It's 52 to 47. Claxton has cut it down to five. Charles did a good job on the Florida trip. He was eight of nine from the free throw line. Second shot, good, he hit it clean. And now the dogs want to run Carrington in, let Shandon sit down. Curtis Carrington, the 6'5 junior college transfer. 52-48, Claxton has cut it down to four. Forrest out the best. Georgia Tech down the floor, their lead is cut to four after six minutes of play gone in the second half. They screen for best. 
who runs it over on the left to Harpering. Harpering to Forrest and a high post to Best, who was open and passed it up. Best, they rub a screen for him. He hooks a pass oh. to Forrest. Given going. Forrest dunked it in. Slammed it in, 54-48. Ty Wilson in the right wing wanted to shoot long and didn't. Go to Pertha Robinson, six-point game. On the right to Jones. Jones into Claxon. Not a real good pass, but somebody grabbed a wrist in there. Bounce pass into Claxon in the post, and somebody grabbed his arm. 54-48, six-point game. Durham out on the floor talking to Carrington. Foul is on Drew Barry. Dogs will take it out underneath. Pertha Robinson, the guard, going to run an out-of-bounds pass play. Lobs it out high, deep outside to Wilson, and Georgia sets up to Pertha Robinson in the corner. Robinson wanted to go baseline, and somebody grabbed his arm. Maddox, I guess. Maddox grabbed his arm as he drove baseline. Again, it's not a shooting foul. We'll take it out. We're six down. We've had it down to four. Pertha outside to Ty Wilson. Had a chance for a three, didn't take it. To Carrington and then to Pertha Robinson. We're running our offense now. Men are rotating. Pertha's dribbling outside. He comes slowly over to the right, working with it. He looks, lobs across, Carrington. Carrington goes in the corner to Steve Jones. Jones outside to Pertha Robinson to Carrington. To Ty Wilson, wasn't quite open. He went to Jones' baseline. They're going to have to watch the clock. They kick it to Carrington. A long one, Pertha. Good, wow. he hit a three. Pertha Robinson hit a long left-handed three. And it's 54 to 51. It hasn't been this close for an hour and a half. Best is coming down the floor for Tech, 54 to 51. Best is sitting outside. Best to Maddox. Maddox looking. Maddox starts in, drives the right side of the lane. A lot of people on him. Hooks with his left hand and scored. Good. Maddox made a very good play with a lot of dogs all over him. 56 51. And Georgia works. Robinson went to Carrington. Carrington over on the left wing with it. Carrington then to Steve Jones out at the head. We're five down. Carrington feeds Claxton. Claxton wants to back in. He turns. Good. Big Claxton hook for the right hand. 56 to 53, and Charles has cut it back down to three. Best coming down the floor for Tech. Best working. Drives around the lane and backs over and shoots a jumper. No good. Rebound Jones at George on the other side. To Pertha, they might run. Now he'll slow it down. He decides to pick up speed. He puts it back out to Jones, and we set up. Ty Wilson, a long one off the front rim. No good. And the rebound best of Georgia Tech to Barry. Barry fed underneath the force, who pushed off and took a shot and missed it off the post low. And Claxton rebounds for Georgia. Claxton cradles it, gives it to Pertha. 56-53. Carrington to Jones in the corner. Steve Jones dribbling out on the left side. Jones found a hole and drove in the lane and got up there in and out and tipped by Clax. No good. Catch the call in there. They foul on Clax or did he foul? Claxton fouled as the ball went up. Claxton came over somebody's back, I believe. 56-53. And time call. It's a three-point game. Timeout. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Who's going to... I'm sitting here with Scott Howard. I started to ask you who's going to foul out first. Who we, got, who we got in deep trouble? Well, we've got Carlos with three. He's the only Georgia player with three. Forrest has three for Georgia Tech. So those are the only two in, in any kind of dire straits right now. I tell you, Larry, that three-pointer that Pertha hit... That was a bomb. He hit that one from about three feet behind the NBA three-point line. That was a big bucket to pull Georgia within uh, three points right now. Now we are uh, Davis, Terrell Bell to give Claxton some rest has come into the post. Anderson, Jones, and Robinson. Pertha, it seems, has been out there all night long doing his thing. Now the official guy says Georgia shooting 47 and a half and Tech is down to 45 and a half and both teams have had 48 shots now. Tech still with the advantage of uh, points off turnovers. Georgia Tech has 18 points off 15 Georgia turnovers. Bulldogs have scored nine off Georgia Tech's seven turnovers. 56-53, got better in 11 minutes. At least my Tech's postman bounces out the best. Georgia Tech will come down the floor. A little better than 11 minutes. Best feeds Maddox high and deep to Barry on the left wing. Barry to Best open long. Good, he hit a three. 
best jump along. They ran a single little screen set out at the high, high edge of the key, and he hit a long one. 59-53, tech by six. Shannon drove baseline, got in trouble. Back to Jones, outside to K2 Davis, to Pertha Robinson on the right wing. Robinson then went to Shannon Anderson, who took it into the lane and got in close. In and out, no good. Rebound straight up in the air. Shannon fought for it. Gave it open. Jones, jumper, no good. Rebound, Barry of Tech. We missed a little bunch of shots in there, and that hurt. Tech's got the ball, and they lead 59 to 53. Best working outside. Best to Barry on the right wing. And the Forrest. And the Maddox on the left wing. Maddox out high and deep. They run the guard. Sue, he doesn't do anything with it and gives it to Barry. They go in the post to Forrest, who turned around and shot a jumper, and he missed it. Rebound, Terrell Bell of Georgia over to Pertha Robinson. Dogs coming down the floor. K2 Davis to Pertha. Pertha took it in the lane and then fed Bell. It comes back outside. Davis open. No good. Rebound, Maddox of Tech, and Tech will come back down the floor. It's 59 to 53. Best of Tech brings it down. We're trying to get strong back in the ballgame. Best of Tech brings it outside. 9.35 and the clock running. Tech's lead is six. Screen for Best. He runs down the lane. He goes to Maddox in the corner. A long one, no good. Rebound Jones of Georgia. And the men in red might run. Pertha to K2. Layup, good. K2 scored on a layup. K2 Davis took it in. 59 to 55. And Georgia cuts it to four. And Tech comes back down the floor. Best sitting outside. Best of Tech. Best then to Elisma. Then to Barry out there around the perimeter. He looks at the post. He wants to go in there. Barry drove in the lane. Blocked by Terrell Bell. And then the rebound Bell, but they're going to call a foul. Georgia coach is really upset. Bell blocked the ball and knocked it flying 40 feet. They said they caught his forearm. Jones comes out. Carlos Strong comes back in. That's two on Terrell. That's a tough call. I'd I guess they called it on the block. I thought maybe they may have called it on a play just a fraction of a second after that. But uh, from our vantage point, it looked like a pretty clean block to me. Barry of Czech, who hasn't shot a lot tonight. His oh. free throw is no good off the front rim. I keep waiting for him to run down in the corner and start shooting threes. Georgia's defensed him well tonight, Larry. Ty Wilson and K2 Davis have done a good job on Drew Barry. He's got six points right now. Gets another free throw. Sticks it up good, and it's 60 to 55, tick by five. Strong, who just came in, flips a pass to Pertha Robinson, and Georgia comes down the floor. Pertha outside. Pertha working out high and deep, then gave it to K2 Davis on the right wing. He started in, and he banked the shot off the right. No good. He got his own rebound, and it's no good. And Anderson went up, and they knocked it out of his hands, and Tech is going to run back down the floor. We had men underneath and could not do it. Best comes outside. Best on the line, Harpering in the corner, in and out, no good, tip good by Maddox, I think, on the other side. 62 to 55, tech by seven. K2 Davis feeding in there to Anderson, and somebody slapped it off his wrist and knocked it loose. Foul on Maddox, I believe. 8-16 to play, it's a seven-point game. That's three on Maddox. Tech has got it back out to seven. We have never quite caught them. We've had them down to three a couple times. Out of bounds play. K2 started in. They blocked the shot. They grabbed his wrist, and they fouled our sub guard, K2 Davis. The junior college transfer got fouled by Harpering. 8-13 to play, seven-point game. K2 was a guy that hit all those free throws the other night in Jacksonville and saved us. Foul on Elisma. Was it on Elisma? K2 Davis on the line. 62-55. Sticks it up. Good. Number one. And now Big Claxton's going to come back in. Terrell Bell will sit down. Bell is mad at himself. He wanted to play longer, and he didn't like the call on the other end of the floor a couple minutes ago either. K2 Davis to get another shot. It's a six-point game. He sticks it up. No good back rim. Rebound, Carlos Strong. He's on the right baseline. He flips it back out to the guards. And George has got the ball and will set up. Pertha goes to K2. K2 Davis back out to Pertha Robinson. And then we go in the post, and we weren't looking, and Harper took the ball for Tech and dropped it out of bounds. Strong got caught flat-footed, but then Tech kicked it out. Still a six-point game. It'll be our ball. Time called, 7.58 to play. 
Time out. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Larry Munson and Scott Howard. Scott, who's leading their scoring? Who's leading ours? Well, Carlos Strong and Shannon Anderson are uh, topping Georgia's efforts right now. Anderson with 16, Strong with 15. Remember, Carlos is playing with three fouls for Georgia Tech. James Parr is still with 16 points. Travis Best, 13. Michael Maddox, 12 off the bench. And that's big 12 points for Georgia Tech right now. Dogs will get it out of bounds in their offensive end, trailing six. Pertha Robinson deep outside to the guard, a high pass to K2 Davis. In the corner to Pertha, who looked at it and didn't take it. He feeds the post. Big Claxon in there, back outside to K2 Davis, and Georgia runs the offense again. 62-56, Tech has led all night. K2 Davis outside in the corner, baseline Anderson back out to the guards. They whip it to the other side. And then Pertha found a hole and went on in the lane and fed Anderson open on the right. Good, he hit a 12-footer. Pertha went in and dished it off. 62 to 58. Georgia cuts it to four again. Barry to Best to Forrest. Then to Harper and Tech working to Barry outside. 62 58. Dogs in the zone. Tech drifts around. Harpering in the corner. There's Barry with a long one. Good. I knew that was coming. He does it every year. Barry hit a long three. And it's 65 to 58. And Tech runs back out by seven. We went in the zone, and that's what Barry wanted. He had room out there to cock it and fire. Anderson, a long jumper. No good. Ball out front. Best to Tech keeping control. Running left hand. Good. Best hit a layup. He and Pertha were in a one-on-one -on -one thing, and Tech suddenly runs it out to nine again. 67 to 58. And the Yellow Jacket fans come up with a roar. Robinson to Davis to Anderson. We feed Claxton. Two men on him. Good. Claxton scored off the low post. Banked it in 67 to 60. Seven-point game, and the clock is better than 620. Tech scores the best. We just can't catch him. Seven points down. Best working. Screen. Best goes to the left of the lane. Backs up outside. Best went to Barry. Then to Maddox on the right wing. Maddox feeds in there on that post. Layup for us. Good. Beautiful spin. Left-handed underhand move. Long pass to Shannon Anderson of Georgia. Good. And at 69-62, we cut it back to seven. Tech went nine. We threw a long bomb and cut it back to seven. 547 to play. 69 to 62. Best around the lane. Over to Harpering. Harpering across. Bad pass. Threw it away out of bounds. Tech made a floor mistake. Georgia's ball. We can't catch him. Seven down. Strong will take it out. Strong to Pertha Robinson. Pertha Robinson comes down the floor. Came across slow as we set up. The K2 Davis out there with him. Screen for Shannon Anderson, who got right in the lane and missed it. And Claxon fought for the rebound. And then Anderson put over his head no good. And then Claxon put it up good. And he may have been fouled as Clax was following with Shannon Anderson. And Claxon put it in 69-64. And somebody got his wrist. We have cut it to five. We've had it down to three a couple of times. Remember, we were 22 down in the first half for a half a minute or so and 21 down forever in the first half. That foul is on Harper. Tex getting Elisma ready to go back in. Tex got four players now with three fouls. Harpering, Forrest, Elisma, and Maddox. And Georgia is in the bonus right now. Tech with 18 fouls. Claxon will get a shot. The basket was good. So he gets one shot. Claxton bouncing. One bounce, sticks it up. Good. Claxton hits it. Big guy has cut it to four, 69 to 65. Barry to Best. Best coming down the floor. And the Tech fans come up and roar for their team as they come down. They go to Maddox on the right, and Shannon knocked it loose off Maddox's leg. It's our ball. Tech made a mistake they weren't watching as Shannon collapsed on a man and rolled it off his leg out of bounds. It's George's ball. So we're coming down, and it's four points with five minutes. Carlos Strong went to Pertha Robinson and then to K2 Davis. Outside to Shannon, got away from his man, got in the lane, fed Claxton, slam dunk. Claxton slammed it home on a great feed, and the crowd is up with a roar as the big fella has cut it down to two. Foul on the play. He will get a free throw, and the Georgia fans are rocking the building. 
Pause for 10 seconds. Station identification. Georgia Bulldog Network here. Division of Paxson Sports. News Talk 750. WSB Atlanta. Got it to two points, Scott. Closest we've been. Welcome back, Larry. <laughs> yeah. Well, Claxton, one bounce and a breath. Good. Claxton hit it. Big guy has cut it to one. And the leastman to best. And Georgia Tech comes down the floor, wants to build her lead up again. Best outside, backing in a little closer. Then to Harpering, to Barry on the left. K2 Davis picks him up. Barry dribbles around to the right. Couldn't find a screen there. Barry comes back outside, dribbling. Barry in the circle, bothered, almost lost it. Best saved it for Tech, and Best got right in the lane. A little jumper short, fight for the rebound, tipped up loose and picked up in the air and scored by fours. Five different men knocked that ball up in the air. They both sides had it, and Tech's fours got it. Has great hands, I guess. 71 to 68, Tech by three. We had it down to one for a half a minute. Anderson driving, layup, he missed it. Rebound to Lisma of Tech. Anderson drove down the lane hard and missed it. Tech down the floor, they feed Forrest. Good. All of a sudden, we might look tired. Five-point game. One point just stretched out to five. This place is really going nuts. 73 to 68. Bertha Robinson comes across. Tech all of a sudden started a little run right after we almost caught him. We passed the K2 across, and he drove the baseline. In and out. He fights his own rebound and puts it up. In and off. No good in the rebound out of bounds. It'll be the dog's ball. Claxon was trying to stick it back. Time called. 73-68-340. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Five-point game, Scott, just as we thought we were about to get him. <laughs> we, what did we get? To within one? One, yeah. Claxton hit the free throw to cap the three-point play. We got to within one, and then that, uh, that play where Tech went up by three, it looked like after it got tipped around that many times, I don't know if, if Claxton heard a whistle or what, but he kind of stopped for a minute. Forrest got the ball and had an easy layup, and Charles was standing right there, but it looked like he thought maybe a whistle had been blown because he stopped. But Charles is doing the some serious work here in the second half. He's got 16 points, and he's 4 for 4 from the free throw line here in the half. Well, there's, there's time, 3.40. We ain't caught him yet. Dogs will take it out on our offensive end. Bertha Robinson going to take it out, out-of-bounds play underneath our offensive goal. Dogs going to run an out-of-bounds play. Men crisscross and cut. Bertha lobbed it outside to K2 Davis. Best made a pass at the ball and just barely missed it. We bounce it in the corner to Anderson. We feed Claxton. He turned around and he scored. Big Claxton banged it off the board off the left side. Claxton has cut it to three for us again. And Best comes down the floor for Georgia Tech. 73 to 70 in a little over three minutes. They go to Harpering. They go to Barry on the left. Barry drove in a circle back out to Best. He shot a long one. Good. He hit a long jumper. A flat 17-footer. 75 to 70. That fine point guard gave him five points again. We feed Claxton. Post is out a little bit. Gave it to Strong. They knocked it loose. And Best picks it up for Tech. Strong wasn't watching. Best comes running down. He got it to Barry. Barry hooks underneath. Bad pass. Tech threw it away and Strong picked it up. Harpering had it off his legs. Tech threw it away and the dogs come back down. K2 Davis in the lane. They blocked the shot. And Tech's got a man wide open going down the floor. Floor slams it in. And we just can't catch him. 77 to 70. They both went back and forth. A little bit of YMCA stuff there, kind of. And then all of a sudden it's seven points again. Bertha Robinson to Shandon, who took it in the lane. They knock it loose. I think we're tired now. Best is going to run to Forrest, and Forrest hits a layup. And just like that, Tech takes command again. 79 to 70, a week all time. And the Tech crowd is up roaring, and their players are clapping for them. Well, we're down to two minutes and ten seconds. 79 to 70. We sat here speculating before, Scott, that if we'd ever catch them, they might crack. But all of a sudden, we may have cracked. Well, they've gone to the, the two All-American candidates, the two guys that have gotten them to where they are, Best and Forrest. And James Forrest has 26 points right now. And Travis Best has 17 points and a bucket load of assists tonight. 
It's back out to a nine-point game. Now you've got to hit everything you throw and get a couple of bounces. But we just went through about a 10-minute stretch where we had some bounces. Bertha Robinson backing his way into the lane, a high arching shot too high, and he got blocked and fouled by Best. 2.03 to play, 79 to 70. And our point guard, who's had to play all night, is going to be on the line. That's Tech's 10th team foul, so Georgia should get two shots the rest of the way. White Pittsburgh at 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Tech will play Louisville at 7.30. That's the Kuppenheimer doubleheader in the Dome on Saturday. 79 to 70. Bertha Robinson, good, number one, 79-71, but eight points is not three or four or two. We're too far away now. 79-71, Bertha took a couple of pretty good long breaths and then some bounces before this second shot. Puts it up, good, he hit them both. And now we run Jones and Bell in there for a short rest and let Strong and Claxton sit down. Seven points, 79-72. Tech's going to take it out, and we're going to press it. Barry of Tech, the big forest, holding it there close back to Best. You can't press him, and Best will bring it down. Travis Best, their fine guard, comes across. Wonder what kind of a signing bonus he's going to get. Best backs up. They go to Harper. He's near the left corner, almost walked. Got it to Barry. Barry drove down the lane and fed across. Bad pass, and Bertha Robinson's got it. Our defense forced him to dish off bad. Dogs come down. Jones had fallen. We go to Shannon Anderson driving in, and it is Tex ball. Shannon kicked it out with his knee. Jones is limping. Steve Jones limping. He got hurt on the other end and never caught up to the flow of the action. Jones is still limping badly. 1.33 to go. Dogs came down and had a chance to put it back down to four or five. We're pressing a little. Barry trying to come with Tech in the backcourt, near midcourt, and he got it across. Barry, the best, 79-72. 80 seconds now. Tech still got seven points. Best going to stall outside a little bit. Best starts around. Jones trying to bother him. He starts on him and fouled him with 71 seconds. It's Tech's control now. Man, what a great run we made at him. More than once we made that run. Claxton, one of Claxton's finest nights as a dog. Seriously. He almost single-handedly caught them by himself. Barry going to take it out for Tech. We have the press to Harpering, and Shannon blocked him with his body. Foul on Shannon, 69 seconds. It's a seven-point game. If you're going to have a shot at him, they got to miss their free throws. Uh, that puts Tech in the bonus now, so they'll go to the line for the one and one. 79-72. That three that Barry hit about three minutes ago really hurt us. And now here he is on the line, going to shoot free throws. Number one. No good. Missed it. Front rim. Rebound. Everybody hit it. K2 Davis of George has got it. We're going to come down the floor. 65 seconds. You guys better hurry. Seven-point game. Bertha took it into the lane and fell back with a little jumper. No good. Everybody fights for it. And Tex Big Force has got it. And we wrapped all around him. Three guys did. And what's the call? Going to call a foul on Strong. Foul on Carlos with 54 seconds. We had three guys wrap up on Forrest, but he's so big and thick, what a wonderful tackle he would make. He is one incredible basketball yeah, player. He really he's is. had a fantastic night, 26 points, and as you said, Larry, he was in there by himself around yeah. you know, four Georgia players right around him, and he was the one that got the ball. 79, 72, 54 seconds. They missed the other front end of the one and one and we came down and couldn't score. And now they're down there with another one and one seven-point game. It was almost a total runaway in that first half. Free throw in and out. They missed another. And K2 Davis rebounds for Georgia. But we got to score fast. K2 a long one. Good. He ripped the three. 79 to 75. We call time with 46 and a half seconds. K2 hit a long jumper. Timeout. 79 to 75. Pause for these words on the Georgia Bulldog Network. Here in the Omni, 
quite a few hundred people had filed out when Tech had seven points with 60-some seconds. Now some of them have stopped up at the top of the exits because K2 hit that long jumper and it became a four-point game. Tech has twice missed the front end of a one-and-one. And of such things can fortunes change. 79-75. Four-point game. Tech will take it out and we will full court press him. Barry will take it out unmolested underneath. They line up three men at the free throw line and put one man deep outside and they get it the best. That's who they wanted and Carlos grabbed and fouled him with 45 and a half seconds. Now best ain't about to miss the front end of a one and one. 79-75. Again the Kuppenheimer doubleheader classic in the dome Saturday. George and Pittsburgh at five. Airtime is 4.30 here, and then at 7.30, it's Tech and Lloyd. Well, that's five on Carlos. So he's going five on him? Yeah, he's going to finish the night with 15 points. There's our leading score now on the bench with 45 seconds to go. Best will go to the free throw line. He is three out of three from uh, the stripe tonight. Coming into the game, he was at 60%, so that's gone up a hair. They're milking a few seconds out of this official timeout before he changes the man, and now the official tells him what he wants him to do. So we run Claxton back in there as the number five man. Strong has fouled out. Carlos had 13 points at the half. He didn't do a lot in the second half. Best on the line, shooting a one and one. Trying to put the icing on it now for Tech. Doesn't dare miss that first one because we look like we might make a run on him again. Free throw, good. 80 to 75. To think it was 20 points, 22 points for so long in the first half. That's how bad they were cutting our pants off. Best on the line. Puts it up. Front rim, no good. And wait a minute, a whistle blew under there. We rebounded, but we may have stepped in too soon. Huh? Jones stepped in too soon. We had the rebound and the ball. We were going to come down and take a three and try to cut it to two, but we couldn't do it. We stepped in the line, so best who had obliged us by missing one, hits this one. And you are 81 to 75. Jones to Pertha. Pertha outside, driving, backs in the lane, outside to K2, a long, wild one, no good. Rebound, Shannon Anderson in the lane, fighting. It's on the floor, he tries to pick it up, and somebody grabbed his wrist, harping, I guess, but we're down to 34 seconds. It's a six-point game, 81 to 75. Six points. These two teams always do something like this with each other. Well, Georgia's just got to hit the free throws now. You got to hit what uh, what Tech is giving us, and they fouled Shandon, so he's got to. He hasn't been to the free throw line all night. He's got 20 points. He needs to make these two desperately to keep the Bulldogs in this thing. They're down by six right now. Put Carrington in and take Jones out. 81-75. You've only got 34 seconds. Shannon on the line. He gets two shots. And try to cut this thing to four. After a bounce, a big deep breath. No good. Front rim, back rim, and kick to the left. He missed it. 81 to 75. Six point game. Now we're getting Terrell Bell ready to go in there. If he makes this one, we may do a sudden switch again. It's up there. Good. He hit it. 81 76. Five point game. We put Bell in. Somebody's got to come off the floor. to Barry, and somebody grabbed at the arm, catch a foul, as Tech came out. Dogs grabbed and fouled. That was Terrell, he reached in and got Barry, that's not what they wanted to do, obviously they got the ball to Barry as quickly as they could, and Georgia was running a little bit behind on defense there, they didn't want to foul Drew, but that's what they did. Barry, five point lead, he will now get two shots. And the crowd for the second time drifts away. No good. The ball went in there, then hit the back rim and fell out. They missed another one. It's a five-point game. Think of our bad early shooting percentages. You'll never know what could have been if we'd had just an average start tonight. 
He hits the second one, 82-76. We got our hurry. Anderson to Pertha. Pertha Robinson coming across. We screen for him. He backs in the free throw line, almost lost it. He's in a corner. Give it to Claxton, who shot a long one, no good. Rebound Davis, knocked it in the corner to Big Claxton. He shot it long again, no good. Barry went high, the rebound, and in only 15 seconds there was a foul. Claxton threw up one real long, one and one medium, just determined to get it up in there. Foul on Anderson and the fight for the rebound. We took a couple of forced shots, kind of. Finally, the Omni can sag a little because it's a six-point game. And Tech goes back to the line. When we made our run at him and got close, all of a sudden it became a great war. It had a bad start. But then after we got it to 10 at the half, here we came in the second half. Very shooting. Good. It rolled all over the place before it went in. 83-76, Tech by 7. We will go to 5-1. and one. Tech will go to 6-0. and oh. Second one, in and out. And Claxton had his arm wrapped all around Maddox and fouled him. 14 seconds, seven point game. Foul on Claxton. This was one of his finest nights as a Bulldog. It's a shame to waste an effort like that. 18, huh? Maddox on the line. Maddox will be shooting with 14 seconds and a fraction to go. Good. Tech is canning free throws at the end. And now they run it out to eight again, 84-76. Maddox to get another shot. Sticks it up there, back rim, no good. It bounced over Claxton's head. And then Force came around, and they call a jump, and it's possession arrow is for Tech. Claxton bothered him. Wouldn't let him get his hook off with his defense. Called a jump, and it's Tech's ball with 11 seconds. 84-76. Tech runs an out-of-bounds pass play, and they get it the best outside. Pertha made a pass at him with seven seconds and fouled it. 84-76, eight-point game. Well, not that it matters, but it may have been a long night when the bus broke down on 316. That's right. The bus broke down an hour before it should have broke down and left the team stranded for a while on that 316 bypass. Best free throw, good. 85-76. Tech is out there by a nine. They will be 6-0. and oh. We will be 5-1. and one. They have Louisville coming at them. We have Pittsburgh coming at us. 86-76. to 76. They got it out to 10. We hurry down the floor. They let Pertha take it in the lane and put a layup in. The clock's going to run down. It's 86-78 to 78. as Tech takes it out, and it's all over. Georgia Tech is one by eight. 86 to 78. We'll be back after these.